We're gonna explore how AI can optimize your editing process and help you achieve stunning results in a fraction of the time. So I've got the images from the exterior course open in Neo. And the first thing we can do is go down to develop. And if we hit masking and AI mask, this is gonna analyze the image and then it's gonna show what it's found. And then we can just make a selection. So say we want the ground and the flora, and we can also edit these using the brush. So we can paint in areas that it might have missed. And then we can go to adjustments and the smart contrast, for example. We can always go back in and erase certain sections that we don't want. Then down in the landscape filter, we can play with the golden hour. Um, but what I do like is this foliage enhancer. It really pumps up, obviously, the foliage. And then we can change this to, say, a more autumn tone and something like that it looks pretty cool and we can see the before and after already and now let's get on to read light ai and this allows us to add some depth to the image so you can see like we can add the brightness to the far and we can darken up the areas closer and you can change the depth of this something else i love is the sun rays so if we pump this up you can see what this does it adds the sun and then we can just move this to where we want it and there's tons of things we can edit in here. We can edit the number of sun rays, the amount, the length, the penetration. So tons of stuff we can do in here. And in 3D, this would take ages. You can always turn things on and off in here. We'll close that. And next, let's go to Atmosphere AI. And we can add fog. And again, the render times on fog in 3D are ridiculous. And this is going to save us tons of time. We've got layered fog. We can begin to see down here. Uh, we can add more depth to it. And again, if you remember the render times from the course, this is going to be a huge time saver. And all of this works just like Photoshop. So we can go back in and we can change things. So we can go back and it's all layered. So you can turn things on and off. And hang in there, guys, because my favorite feature is coming up. Next up, we can use Mood to add lookup tables. And as you hover over these, you can obviously see what they're doing, which is a really nice feature. And we can turn them on and off. Back at the top, we've got Magic Light AI. And if we crank that up, we can see it's adding some glow down here. So if we want to play with that interior light, we can, and tons of options in here. Super Sharp is going to analyze the image and sharpen it for us. So now if we zoom in at about 100%, and we can turn this on and off, and we can see what that's doing to our image. We don't have a lot of noise in our image, but you can see that it analyzes it and it actually tells you which setting will work best. And then we've got Enhance AI. So if we zoom back out and we crank this up, we can see what that's doing. We can also add a vignette to our image and over in Develop, we can also add a slight lens effect. Now, look at some more of my favorite parts. If we go back to our catalog, what's great is we can just right click on here and copy the adjustments and then we can just paste these onto any other images in the set and then when we go into this and hit edit we can now see that all of our adjustments have been added to this image um, and you can see some of the maskings come through so we can just go to edit and we'll go down to develop and it's on this mask so all we have to do is go to brush erase and we'll just erase that section and that's looking fine now you've stayed this long so here's my favorite part if we go to tools and we go to sky you can see it's pretty overblown here and what we want to do is choose one of the skies that come so there's tons in here and if we go to starry night and add galaxy what i think is one of the best features of this is the reflection now i've tried photoshop and i don't think it does as good a job if i turn this on and off you can see obviously the sky changes but the reflections down here so it just sits in the image really well so let's go to dramatic sky and that looks really nice and again there's tons of things we can do in here we can move the sky around you can move the position and you can get your image looking just how you like. So is Neo a Photoshop killer? Use the link in the description and find out for yourself.